Hi guys, welcome back to Tara's Take. How's my family doing? Happy Tuesday. <laughs> so uh, this, I was just messing around with the stuff to make these bags that we talked about the other day. Some of you did show, uh, did say that you'd like to see how to make them. So I'm going to do this video for you. Um, if you don't like fiddly, then you probably won't like these. They're cute, though. When they're done, they have these huge pockets. And they're very sturdy because you've got, you know, all this is glued. And you've got paper on the front that's glued this down. And, um, yeah, it's very nice. So they actually are fun. The bags I'm going to be using are from the Christmas department. They're the four treat bags. And they're 98 cents in Walmart. Okay. And... I'm using the Ho Ho Ho. They had some with Penguin, some with Santa. Uh, I don't remember. They had another one. I can't think. But um, I'm going to be doing it with these. Now, what I was going to say is you can use, if you don't want to get those Christmas bags, or if you don't, you don't have access to them and you have access to some sandwich bags, okay, just or some uh, lunch bags, these will work too because they're the same type of bag, okay? and uh, cheaper. And if you don't want to do the Christmas thing, then you've got this brown, you know, paper that's got that sound to it like we like. So it's kind of cool. Um, I've brought along um, one of my antique uh, kids magazines. I got another one yesterday. I got a bunch yesterday, actually, when I went to see my daughter. I got to go... Um, by the way, my favorite bookstore. And she, I'm so glad I went, you guys. She had marked up these books. They were $2.50 the last time I went, and now they're $4.99. She's finally gotten, uh, you know, it, she got sharp about how, what they're worth. And so she marked them up. But it was her Black Friday sale on all used books and all used items in the store. So I got 25% off plus my half off because I have credit with her. So, yeah, very, very cool. Um... And I got like nine more of these and they're beautiful. They've got so many pictures, stories, you know, I mean, just so much fun stuff in all of them. A, a lot of drawings, a lot of, you know, look at that one. Isn't that beautiful? Um, just really awesome. And they're children's books from a hundred years ago. This one's from 1915. Can you see that? 1915, December. Most of them have their covers. This one's is torn off, but that's okay. Um, so anyway, we're going to do these. Okay. So let's get your, your, your bags out. I wanted to show you these fit onto an eight and a half by 11 or an A4 page folded in half for our journals. Just fine. What we're going to do is these were a little bit long to begin with. So I am going to cut one of these down for myself. Okay. And then... I am going to um, show you the fiddly part. Ugh, very fiddly. Get ready. Sorry for that. I hate fiddly too, but, you know, I like to do fun, funky things, and these are different. These are just, they're a little different. So first you're going to open your bag. Oh, and you're going to have, I always do this. I'm sorry. I always forget to tell you what you need. Scissors, glue. Um, you'll want some background paper, whether it be book page, digis, scrapbook paper, tissue paper, I don't, whatever you want to use, vellum, you know, rice paper, stamps, stencils, you can use anything you want because we are going to put some background here and we're going to put some background in this one here. Okay. So yeah, so we want that. And then you're going to need something for the front. If you want to do it like I have mine, you don't have to do it this way, of course totally up to you okay so what we're gonna do is we've trimmed off some of the top so we've made it about I'll measure for you guys so let me see I want to see something I have a stupid stupid question I, I mean I'm just <laughs> I just want to make sure okay <laughs> I always look at this and I'm like should I start over here or should I be starting over here I, I don't know why Okay, so these are now just shy. They're like seven and three quarters inches long, okay? Originally, in case anybody's interested, they were nine, okay? All right, so we've cut it down and now we're gonna do the fun part. I'm lying, it's not the fun part, totally exaggerating. 
just letting you know. This is the not fun part. We're gonna go into this and open the bag. Okay, look and see if you can see what I'm doing. Now, I'm going in here and I'm going into this corner and I'm gonna fold this as evenly as possible out on the outside. So it's still using the fold, okay, from the, from the bag. However, I'm just going to make it on the outside, okay, so that it can flatten out. And you may need to put like a piece of something that'll go into that corner if it folds on you, if you can't quite get it to flatten out. It doesn't have to be perfect. We are going to cut some of this off, so, but we do want this, this line here that's going up onto the outside. We want this to be correct, okay? Because we're going to use it. It's going to be part of the aesthetic of our bag, or our pocket. And it's just easier, and you do want to make sure these corners are as intact as possible, because that'll be part of your pocket on the lower part, okay? See? I told you it's fiddly. Alright, now, we're going to go ahead and kind of flatten this out. Now, I am going to be folding this part in. Now, if you don't care about this part, you could actually trim the entire side of the bag off. I know it sounds crazy, and just utilize this part and the, the body of it, and we could paper inside of it. I mean, but I kind of liked, I'll show you what I did. I liked how it looked folded in on itself because it gave me these little lines. And then it also made this a little stronger up here where I'm cutting and putting paper and stuff. Okay, so for me, I kind of liked it like that. So all I'm going to cut off, all right, is going to be, I'm putting this bottom part back up on itself. So you've got your little pocket right here. Okay, now I'm going to trim from this corner along that line, and I'm just going to follow the line of the bag. And I'm going to go up just to where the bag ends right here where this corner is okay <clears throat> and then I'm gonna come to the side and I'm gonna go across from you know like right here from where that fold is okay and I'm gonna trim that off okay and so what you have is that L shape upside down L shape okay right there and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And I think I'll go ahead and use this part, do this part first. And you want it just, just to that where the pocket's going to start. And then down. It's actually, I think, easier like that. So if you want it to be easier, come in from this side and then just turn your scissors and go down instead of starting at the bottom like I did the first side, okay? Now, <clears throat> because we want the depth of this pocket, we want this open, okay? So you can either take an X-Acto knife and trim down, or you can just take your scissors and go across, okay? And you're gonna use the line and you're just gonna cut that. Or if you don't like scissors, I know that uh, a certain person knows who I'm talking to. She does not like scissors. Um, you all probably know it's Pam. <laughs> she comments about the scissors all the time. You can take this, Pam, and you can turn it inside out before you cut it, and then you can just run it along your cutter. Okay, honey? So anybody who does not like to use scissors, you can do it like that. So now what you have is a very <laughs> mishappen little ho-ho-ho bag. Okay, as you can see, I know it looks destroyed, but we're going to put it back together the way we want it now. <laughs> so that's the fiddliest part right there. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and glue in my, um, my book page right now. I'm going to glue down the areas that I don't want to be uh, up. 
this bag, what you're going to do, the bottom of the bag, you're going to want to flip it out so that you have basically this large T shape. Okay. Now you've opened that and you're going to lay this back. And uh, what I'm going to do now is glue this shut just because this is going to be giving our pocket a lot of strength to have this paper stay here. Um, that's the reason I did that. And then I'm going to glue these down and I would, you know, you can cut these off, but like I said, it's going to give your pocket a lot of uh, reinforcement to leave them in. So I left mine in and this one feels really cool. It feels very sturdy. I mean, yeah, so it's, it's real sturdy. Okay. And you don't need a ton of glue. I know I will glue everything, but you know, you don't need a ton of glue. So now what you're left with is this part here, okay? And I think I'm looking here real quick. Yeah. Um what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna glue. Sorry guys, I'm just making sure I'm doing this right. Yes, I am. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run some glue along the sides on this bag and I'm not gluing this shut yet on the portions where there's going to be a pocket okay I'm just gluing down this line here and up these sides because this piece here is going to be part of the top pocket okay this is the bottom pocket so this piece right here that I'm gluing down is underneath inside here it's like in here okay so I'm gluing this down because I want to make sure my pocket's in place. And I don't want to have to fiddle with it later. And I'm going to let that dry for a second and then I'll measure my paper because I only need paper to go from the regular size of the bag's width. Okay? I only need the paper to go from here, here. So, because these parts are going to be glued down. Okay. So now we have that top pocket is in place. And now I'm gonna grab the, my book I picked and I'm gonna pick out a piece of paper. There was some really, oh my goodness, there's so many cute papers in here. But I think I just wanna use words or maybe even some ads. There's awesome ads. I think what I'm gonna do, you guys, I'm gonna make some digis out of these ads because even my husband, last night he was looking through these and he goes, these are so cool because in the back there's all these old ads and you know I mean they're from 18 1915 you know they're a hundred and what seven years old they're so cool and he was just like oh my gosh you should make digital kits out of this I said I know I think I'm going to so yeah I'm probably just gonna tear these out of the book and scan them in and do them just you know like that for you guys if you're interested they'll they'll be there soon um, let's see. <sighs> Don't want to use up the really good pictures because look at that. Isn't that beautiful? The little stove. <laughs> so cute. Every little girl wants this toy range. It's a miniature cook stove. Oh, that is, that's the real deal there, girls. Boy. Oh, look at that. Look at these pictures. Oh, they're just so pretty. So pretty. Okay. Oh, this one would be cute. Okay. The Riddle Box. Answers to the puzzles in November's magazine. So they did the little... Oh, gosh, Tara. Horrible tearing. Horrible. Did you see that? It's horrible. Um, these pages are pretty... They're in pretty good shape, but when you go to pull on them, they will kind of break. You know, not not bad. I mean, you can bend them and stuff. But if I wanted to, I could, I could break them pretty quick. You know what I'm saying? I'll show you. I'll, I'll, I'll do this one and show you. So like if I want to, I can fold it the first time, but if I keep folding it, it'll tear. See, look like that. So it'll tear right away. Now what I want to do is this one's going to go like that. So I'm just going to utilize this. I think I'll trim off this little top here. You know, in fact, I'm going to, I'm going to do it like this because I like that look better than the cut. And as a matter of fact, I may leave it and let it 
Nah, I won't. It'll be fine like this. Okay. So, I'm just making sure where I need to be here. Right there. So, I'm going to go ahead. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my pocket up. Okay. And, sorry, I'm trying to make sure I'm on the right line here. Is that right? Yeah. I'm going to fold my pocket up and then bend it that way. And that way I've got a good measurement. Okay. There we go. All right. We're going to, let's see. Do I want to get, yeah, I'll use this glue. This bottle, it always, always, always leaks on me. I clean it and use it and think, well, maybe I'm just twisting it on crooked. Nope, it always leaks. It's this one that doesn't do that. So we shall use this one. Okay. So I'm just using my art glitter glue. You guys could use whatever glue you've got. If you've got the tacky glue or you want to use it, even a, a glue stick will work probably just fine. And I'm probably going to trim. Let me see if I'm... Yep, I'm in a good spot. I'm not going to worry about the little raggedy part up here. It just looks like the page is torn, and I love that. So for me, that's like perfect. I'm trying to find the right scissors. I don't really want to use those other ones because I don't want to get... These are like my favorite now. They're my favorite fussy cut scissors, and I don't want to get glue all over. Okay, there's that side. And there goes my... I don't know what I just dropped. <laughs> Sorry, you just gotta laugh when you're me. I, I, do, I do stuff like that all the time. So. Now this one's a little bit too, I left a little too much on this bag on the side. So, whenever I close the pocket, you can see there's still too much of the bag there. So I must have cut it kind of unevenly. I know that's shocking. <laughs> nah. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and glue this pocket shut. Come on. Just running some glue. Okay, and if you want, you can do something with this side too, of course. I am going to, because I am gonna do this to the bag, I'm gonna, you know, distress some of it. So just do a little distress on the top here. Oops, I got glue on my dauber. Not good. Not good. Probably still going to have to trim. Or maybe I'll just distress the bag. It'll look fine. Around these edges where I can still see white. Okay, so now we have a pocket. We'll let it dry. How's that? I won't play with it. But you know it's there. <laughs> That's our pocket. Okay, now... We're going to do the same thing, on the, but on the top. Um, let's see, what do I want to use? Pick, 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 pick a picture. I'll pick some words. There's so many fun things. Oh, look at this picture, you guys. Look at that. Look at that. Can you see? Isn't that beautiful? The Little Piper, painted by Arthur Rackham. Or Rackham. For the journey, where the where journeys end by Beth Bradford Gilchrist, just lovely, lovely, lovely pictures. Mm. I'm thinking because it's on the inside of the bag. I wish I could find this one's kind of cool. Now I want to use that on a regular piece. This one here with that that picture. I'd like to use that somewhere. Look at the camel soup. <laughs> oh my gosh. These are so cute. Oh, here's a nice one. Okay, I'm going to try to do this tear a little better this time. This piece. I want to do this top part here. Okay. Let's see. I think... I got a couple of pictures of some of my daughter's artwork 
and I have to transfer it to my computer from my phone because I can't get to it right now. It's on saved on my phone, but I thought I'd show you guys her. She's working on it. It's really cool. She's she's really into anime and stuff, and um, a lot of her art has that kind of look to it. Um, her drawings, <clears throat> and so, um, but not not anime in the like the big eyes and all that. Not not that. I'd have to show you, but um, I brought it from her place yesterday. I took pictures. I was like, I've got to show, I've got to show them some of your stuff. Now, if you're friends with me on Facebook, technically you can go in. There's a folder in my photos that has a bunch of her drawings from when she was younger, and they're really good too. So if you, there's a, I believe it's the folders like Joey and Maria. It's got a picture of my son and my daughter in it um, on the cover of it. Yeah, they're in there. So if you are interested, you can see them. Okay. All right. I'm going to just go up a little. I don't need this to go all the way to the bottom, of course, because it's just going to be where they see into the pocket. And I'm going to go ahead and just... Barely... Oh, no, Tara! Oh, <laughs> I get so mad at myself. Ugh, clumsy girl. Gee, whistle sticks. Look at that. Tort. Now, it can be fixed, but it's annoying that I'm like that. <sighs> anyway. I'm just going to tape it. It's going to be inside the pocket. It's not going to be that big a deal. This should work just fine. Let's see. See? Yeah. It'll be fine. Just... Note to self, don't do that again. <laughs> now in this pocket, and as you can see, the pocket's now glued shut on the bottom, okay? So, if you look, it's a deep, it'll be a deep, deep pocket, okay? Um, I'm trying to think, do I want to use a glue stick? Those are kind of, because it opens so wide, I haven't sealed it. I think it'll be fine. I'm going to go ahead and do the glue stick here on this one. Should be easy enough because I've got a lot of maneuverability in here. So if I didn't have that, I would say no. But. Okay. You know how glue stick gets really sticky and it's kind of hard to maneuver it, but because this is so open, I don't think it'll be as hard. So that's what I'm saying. Now if I can just get it right to the edge where I want it, and keep it even. There we go. There. It's not, it's not perfect, but what I mean by that is I missed it by a slight bit on the side right here. Maybe you can see. I didn't cut it quite as... I cut it a little narrower than it needed to be. That's my point. Now, at this point, these two flaps, okay, can either be decorative or you can actually create a pocket, which I did on another one and I cannot locate it. It's here somewhere. But what you can do is you can just either glue these shut and have it as a tuck spot or like on the ends, you can glue it on both ends. Or you can glue the side and the bottom and make it a little pocket. Whatever you want. I am going to, what do I want to do with this one? I'm, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do the way I did before because I want you guys to be able to see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this all the way. Oh, no, no, I apologize. Not all the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, never mind. Confusing myself, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So today's Saturday and Courtney actually went to work. So I did my errands and ran my errands and stuff like I always do. You guys know my drill, laundry at 445. And then <laughs> and then I got him off to work today and uh, got all my shopping done and then came back home. And 
I got him two presents. I can't tell you what they are just in case he ever listens to it. He won't hear this deep into the video. He doesn't really watch my videos. He watches a few minutes of them when they pop up on his feed, but he doesn't really pay attention. So I got him this adorable red truck at Walmart. He loves the red truck. I like, um, let me see. You guys already know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. What? A, I just had it. Tara, come on. He's this guy. He just loves this. And so they had them at Walmart, and then they had cookies inside of them, which will make it even better to Courtney, because, you know, he loves food. <laughs> so, yeah, so I got him one of those. And the reason I got him that is because he's kind of inadvertently started collecting um, statuettes and stuff like the other, because when his mom passed away and we brought home her, um, her things, there was this old man and woman sitting on a park bench. It was a ceramic and she had it in her living room and it was super cute well he really liked it and so um we put it in our room because we brought her furniture back and we didn't have like a chest of drawers and so we brought her chest of drawers in well i am using this to see the middle point of my envelope um and so yeah we brought it and it's so cute and we sat the old man and woman up on top of there well, I did, and he just loved that. And so he bought another little statuette that had like a an old man, and then he ended up getting, um, I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. I just wanna mark my cutting spot. Um, and then he brought home the old man from Christmas, well, the father from the Christmas story, Bobblehead. And so just little by little, there's, you know, there's like this little collection happening, and so, I got him the truck to put up there with them. So, yeah, he'll love it. He'll love it. And it's something that, because Cordy's the kind of guy, he's like, all I want is you. I had nothing, and God has given me everything in giving me you, and I don't care about presents. That's him. He literally doesn't want anything. So, yeah. So, what I'm doing right now is I have measured the center point of this uh, bag and I am just going to cut down the center and you can make this as deep or as, as high as you want you don't have to go lower or higher I mean you know what I'm saying you can do it it's I do mine about two and a half inches or two yeah about two inches let me see just to measure real quick here yeah mine's at just over two inches okay and then what I want to do this time that I didn't do last time is I'm going to put a little piece of paper right here at the point of that cut because if you look on this one it's a little bit weak see that little tear so when they open it if there's I actually stuck a piece of tape there so that it wouldn't tear anymore that's actually a good idea so that's what I'm gonna do again I'm just gonna take a little piece of scotch tape it doesn't have to be anything special and I'm gonna tape right underneath that cut Oh, or I'm going to stick it to the bag and I'm going to mess it up <laughs> anyway. Okay. So we're going to cut, we're going to take that tape and we're going to just stick it right at the base. And I hope I do this. I did it wrong. Of course I did it wrong. I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not good at stuff like this. Not really. Not really. I try to be, but you know, the, the, the heart is in it. Probably what I should do, but see, it automatically starts to tear a little bit. So what should I do? Huh, huh. Because I don't, I, I should have taped it before I cut and then cut into it. So there you go. That's a good idea. Before you do this cut, put a piece of scotch tape, you know, vertically underneath where you're going to stop the cut. And then that way it won't tear as badly. Or you can put a piece of paper glued in down in there. Um, I'm looking here on my desk and what I think I'll do is grab a piece of, I know I don't know if this will work, but I think it'll be better than even that tape. Um, I'm going to use a piece of Tim Holtz fabric tape. Okay. And it's in red. So, <laughs> and I'm going to, I'm going to put that on the tip of my scissors. If I remember right, this is how I did it the other day and I'm sticking it inside the bag. If you can see, can you guys see? Okay. I'm going to stick it in the bag and set it where it needs to go, and then I'll press it down. Um, that way, see, that way it's even. 
and I don't tear the bag anymore and I don't get it stuck. Okay, so I'll show you here in a second what I did. There we go. So now it's right there, if you can see, at the base of that cut. Okay, just to reinforce that little spot. So that when I when I do this fold, it's not going to tear it down, hopefully. So now what you're going to do is you're going to fold this back. Oh, it's still doing it. Maybe I need to cut it a little deeper. See, I told you this thing's fiddly. It's cute, but nope, it's not. Uh... Well, darn it, Tara. I get so irritated at myself. Okay, well, then you're going to fold it down. And now, of course, I've got that red tape showing, which I'm going to be covering this part, so it really don't matter. That's true. I'm getting coming down on myself for nothing. So that tape is showing, but it's reinforced there, so it's not going to rip. Okay, and I'm going to be gluing this part down, these triangles. And now, I don't know if you are. I'm going to cover mine anyway right there, so that tape will not show. Um, watch. I'll show you what I mean in a sec. So I've got these little these little parts glued down. And now you can see part of the book page which is also very cute. So that's why you also, when you, whatever you put as your backdrop there, you know, you want it to be something that you want to see because it's going to be visible. Okay. All right. Now I used on this, I used some of my paper that I had done, of course, with you guys and the jelly plate. And now I'm looking because I have, uh, I have Tim Holtz papers, and then I still have more of those papers, and I really like those a lot, um, these gold ones. And it, like I said, it doesn't have to, um, oh, I don't know what I was going to say. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to try and pretend to finish that thought when I'm not even sure what I was wanting to say. Let's see. I think I'll use Tim's this time. I'm just looking through here to see which one. I like this little guy here, and I like this one. Oh, and then I have this, too. forgot I still had a piece of this. However, this one's probably because of the candy canes. They won't show as much, so I'll probably do... The poinsettias. Poinsettias. Poinsettia? How do you say it? Um, let me get my... Before I go further, I'm going to do this part. I'm going to distress my little white areas on this bag. So it looks a little dingier. Not a ton, but... Now this part, that's right. This part's going to be covered, so I don't have to do that. I just wanted to get in here and do this middle section. Okay? All right, now, this is gonna be the fiddly part for you, is gonna be doing these corners because you gotta get up here and kinda do a triangle, all right? And this was the hard part. Another hard part, I should say. How many minutes do we have left? What do we got going here? Oh, good, I'm not too bad off here. Okay. I'm trying to remember how I did this the other day. I think I... Mm -hmm. And then I folded it. Oh, you know what I did? I know what I did. Ha! I trimmed it just past where I want it to go because I ended up folding part of it over and trimming off these corners and folding part of this over into the back part here to reinforce again. So you take your, use your corner if you can, depending on your paper. This paper works perfect for this because of the fact that it's got the print the way it does. And I trimmed, I believe I did that. 
yeah. And trim that off, okay? And then I went ahead and trimmed this part. Okay, and then when I glued this, I was able, once I glue this down, you'll see it'll fold into that part inside. And then, does that work? We're just gonna go for it. I think that's the way I did it. I'm gonna sure try to do it again. You guys sure get to see the good, the bad, and the ugly on my crafting desk. Do you know that? I hope you know how much I love you. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> How much I truly like you guys to let you be in here when I'm making all these mistakes. It's so embarrassing. It really is. <laughs> I'm learning, though. I'm learning not to be embarrassed and just do things anyway, you know? Just do them anyway. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let that... Yeah, I'm going to trim this just a little bit more. I hope I'm not doing it too much. I'm good. I'm going to let this dry for just a second on here. Okay. Now at this point, you could trim this off as well, but if I, yeah, if I remember, I was like, I think it just will fold right in, see, and you can glue that little back part down, which is what I'm going to do right now, put a little bit of glue right there. You don't want to get it on your part in the back part of your pocket. So I folded it first so that I can make sure it's, you know, going in the right spot. Now I don't mind. It's not totally to the edge. It's a little bit framed. I'll just stress that. Um, to me, that's all the things that add character to the piece. So now I'm going to use the other corner and do the same thing. And I'm so happy it worked. I'm gonna come up just a little bit so I can see where this midline is. Okay, and that way I know where to cut. Okay. And then I'm gonna do that little fold again just past it. So again, I know approximately where to cut. There we go. And yes, I'm using this this time because it, I don't know, makes it a little easier for me. Okay. off. Oops, I better go this way because I'm right-handed so I can go up against there. There we go. And then put some glue down and get that glued down. Now this is this was another one of the hard parts so we've got that taken care of. That's good. This bottom pocket is super easy. Once we're there we're gonna cover that and yeah you'll see that one's easy. Press that down. Don't rub. Press and then rub because you know once you rub it, if you start out rubbing it, it's going to move it. And you may not want to do that. So there we go. Okay. That's down good enough for me to do my little fold. And I'm using that edge. To, you know guide me okay. try to pull it out put some glue can you guys see okay I'm just putting a little bit of glue in here on this edge I've seen Tina do this too on stuff she had some envelopes she did that looked like almost little tuxedo pockets I think they were I think they were um, from Patricia Miramonte. I think her name is Miramonte. And, uh, yeah, inspired by her. But, yeah, they were really cute. They looked adorable. Um, and they had this kind of 
fold in what she she had done. I don't think Patricia had done that. I think that was Tina's thing because she didn't want to cut the edge. And that's kind of what I'm trying to avoid as well because it's just going to be a hassle. Now, because I was able to use that top half for these two, now I can use this bottom half and kind of frame. Or oh, let's see, will it go? Nope, I'm going to frame it. So I'm going to go ahead and distress around the edge to make sure that where I frame it, the white is not shining bright. <clears throat> I'm gonna get a drink of my coffee here. My cold coffee, I should put some ice in it. <laughs> I love cold coffee. <laughs> okay, I like it hot too though. I just like coffee. I didn't used to like coffee, it's kind of funny. I think I grew up. Okay. So since I'm framing the sides, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down a little bit and cut it so that it frames all the way around you know I was not going to do that but because of the fact that it's not quite white enough I think that'll be better because then it'll look symmetrical and that'll be cute I'm going to do something I keep forgetting that I even have this wonderful little <laughs> I have this wonderful little cutter from Fiskars by, from my friend Pam. Yes, Pam, I'm using it. <laughs> Yay, thank you so much, honey bunny. Okay, so we're gonna cut. Yay, look at that. Woohoo! Nice crease. <laughs> thank you, Pam. I love ya. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So now we're just going to do this. And you know what, guys? I did not do it with this particular one here. Well, wherever it went. It's here somewhere. The one I showed you before. <laughs> the prototype. I, I glued that down and made it a, um, what do you call it? Uh, just like a piece on the front, you know, just decorative. However, this time, and I also, my page, I left it longer and I tucked it around the back and I wish I could find it. It's right here. What is wrong with me? I tell you, girls, I, I lose things faster and make your head swim how fast I can lose stuff. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay. I glued it so that it had reinforcement on the back. Okay. So I brought my paper up and then I flipped it in. That's all. And this is not a pocket, this piece. I mean, this is a pocket, but this piece I covered it with is not. However, this time, I'm since it's framing, I'm going to make this a third pocket, okay? Because I think I would like that. I think I would, you know? I like to do the three glue, and we got to distress the inside of the pocket. We can't have that showing as bright white. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. All righty. Now we're going to put this baby on. Just glue the bottom, glue the sides, and you've got yourself a pocket. Okay. There we go. Okay. A little bit higher there so oh by the way my daughter loves her journal I'm so excited I gave her the altar book yesterday oh my goodness you guys you should have said it was the first time that I've given away a journal and I've actually gotten to sit with the person and go through it with them and show them because she's never seen or had a junk journal, okay? Um, and so this is a first for her. And, oh, I was so excited, you guys. I came to tell you I was crying. I was praising Jesus because of the opportunity to give my daughter something so beautiful. And, yeah, it was, it was awesome. So here is our fiddly bag with pockets. Um, I am going to distress this as I tried to earlier. And I should have just waited. Um, that's okay. She's got like tears in her, across her, I mean, little <laughs> folds and stuff, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, 
There we go. So yeah, there's our baby. Isn't it pretty? I love these. I mean, they are a hassle. I'll be honest. I agree. But they're a fun hassle. <laughs> so there we go. There's that pocket. There's that pocket. And there's that pocket. Very cool, right? Okay, let's decorate one of these puppies. Um, we might as well do this one since we did this one together. So that's what I'm thinking. Um, let me see. Huh. I have got some of the prettiest ribbon again. Thanks to Pam for that happy mail. Oh my gosh. I have so many beautiful things I can't wait to dig into that my friend from here on the channel, Deanne, gave me. And it's just, they're not really Christmas items is all, but oh my gosh. Just oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just thank you so much, you guys. The things that, you know, you guys have blessed me with and you make me cry every single time. And I love you. And I thank you for loving me and for being my friends. I mean it, I mean it, I mean it. I think that looks really cute right right in the center there. But it also looks really cute here. The reason I was going to use this is because I thought it would be pretty as a backdrop behind whatever I put on top, you know. But now that I'm looking at it right here, I really, I really like it right there. So I'm going to use some of this. And I'm cutting it long because this, these scissors are not good for material. They're not. They're not. There we go. I um I really want to cut it long because I'm going to tuck it around behind. This is going to get glued in. If you're not going to glue it in, then by all means don't don't do that. But um yeah, for me I think I will. And I'm also going to just pull on this a little bit. And I like to pull these wires out unless I'm using them for some reason. So I just kind of pull on it. It's right there. There we go. And I pull the wire out so it's a little more maneuverable for me. Okay, there we go. Now, go ahead and what do I want to use? I think I'll use this glue stick because these work. Oh, it dried a little bit fun. Darn it. These work good with uh, ribbon. Okay. Am I straight? I need to stand up and I really just, I'm being lazy. I don't feel like standing up. I walked all day and I'm going to pull that a little bit because that fold is right there. And it's not really wanting to vanish. So. Okay. Tuck that over the edge. Really tuck this side over the edge. Okay. Okay. And give that a little press. There's that part. Okay. There we go. So pretty. I love those little reindeer. They're so cute. Okay, and I'm looking here. I went to the dollar store today and I bought these baskets for my bags because I was using those little cardboard things I made and these are too heavy for that. So I was like, oh, I'm going to get something. Let me see. These are super cute. These little precious little uh, I know I'm doing overkill and thinking oh another pocket <laughs> you know me pockets 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 I know I like pockets I like them a lot <laughs> oh plum pudding I like that let's do plum pudding and, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to put this down in the pocket. I bent it. Oh, T. I was with you, girl. you got to be more careful. And use your brush. It's less hazardous to the card's health. There. Now, I am going to um, put this down as another pocket. So now these are going to have fourth pocket. And they'll have a little spot for many, many cards, little cards, which I actually have some. Okay. There we go. Put it down here. Okay. 
Now, I am going to grab <laughs> Look at them. Aren't they just the most precious little babies? If I if I I wanted to, I could cover that and set them there. What I was thinking was how cute they would be. Um like they're stand like they're hiding inside that pocket, glued down on the inside of it. Oh, I just tore that open. Ugh, Tara, you're just so rough, honey. Don't be so rough. I probably just didn't put enough glue the first time around, obviously. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but they are cute, right? I'm going to use something that'll fit. I want to use, I, I love these people. You know me. I just, I really, really, really. Oh, she's pretty. She'd be pretty on, like... One like that. Let's see, what else do we have? Do I have more of those little ones? I have a few. Let's see. Aw, she looks so happy. Look at her. <laughs> That's a smile. Let me tell you what. I am thinking... I don't want to leave these, um, I don't want to tear them in case, I was thinking, how could I do this? I was thinking how cute those would be right there. But I kind of want to tear them down and distress them. Ugh, I'm going to, I'm going to. I actually never use these um, pictures, the ones that, I, and I have them, the whole pack of Tim's pictures. Um, and the reason I never use them is because they're usually, most of them are like in an era that I'm not working around. But because I'm doing this Christmas journal and it's more just, I like I told you guys, it's going to kind of have different eras. It's going to not be centered around one particular time frame like the twenties or, you know, Victorian or anything. I'm just going to be, um, I'm just looking to get it to where it's kind of like, um, you know what I'm saying? More, I'm going to see if this will work to where it's more all over the place. It's just traditional Christmas periods in our history, you know? So that leaves it open for me to use folks that are from whatever generation. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Now we gotta get the edges. I think I'm gonna have to get more ink, you guys. It's, it's not my little ink. I even re-inked this pad and it doesn't quite, I'm using the archival so that it'll stay. Um, Cause it's very shiny on this paper and I don't want it to be uh, like rubbed off. So I'm going to use the permanent ink instead of the vintage, or I mean instead of the regular distress. So, okay, all right. Oh my gosh, I love that baby smile. What time is it? Okay, we're good still, but we do need to get a move on. So I was thinking these two would look really pretty right there. And then what can I put with them? Hmm. We have plum pudding. And... <laughs> Let's see. Maybe I'll do a little collaging underneath them. Not that. I gotta find small stuff. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. So if you've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. I love that song. I don't even know why it came to my mind. I'm getting more comfortable around you guys because I sing a lot when I'm by myself. <laughs> I was singing in the parking lot today in the um, 
Walmart. <laughs> it's like, oh, somebody's probably going to think I'm crazy. <laughs> Let it snow. Let it snow. I hadn't even seen that. That's so cool. <laughs> I love when stuff like that happens. Like when you're going to do your devotion and it tells you what verse to look up in the Bible and you turn right to it. I had that happen a couple days ago. I was so excited. Courtney just laughs at me. He thinks I'm funny. Not laughs in a bad way. <laughs> he thinks I respond very um, cute. <laughs> I can't help it. Polar exp I don't want to cover those little reindeer, though. Let's see. <laughs> no, I was putting my groceries in the car this morning, you guys, and I was just flooded in my uh, my awareness of God's goodness and how much we're blessed in this country and how blessed I feel in my own life. And I just started crying, um, not, not bawling or sobbing, but tears were running down my cheeks because I was thinking about how I'm just overwhelmed with gratitude at times. Do you guys ever feel like that where you really... You know, because it's so easy to be negative in this life. We're so, we're taught to be negative. This world, you know, we're born into sin. And this world is so ugh, twisted and perverted at times. And it's, it's super easy to fall into that trap. And I was just, I went to the store and just thinking about being able to afford, you know, to go to the store. I mean, there was a time when that was not, uh, that was not doable for me. Um, and I've been... You know, it, I've been in places in my life where it just was very limited or where I had, you know, I got to make it. Me and my late husband, I mean, there was a time when we shopped for our weekly groceries for, I'm not being, I'm not kidding, $10. We had $10 in our pocket, you know, and we'd buy a huge bag of macaroni noodles, a big thing of butter, a thing of eggs, and a big thing of hamburger. And that was what we ate. Like every day for probably six months. I mean, it was, it was a tight season in our lives. And this when we were younger. And I mean, and then I've been homeless and I've just, you know what I mean? I've had some things. I don't know. I just, and I was, I was thinking about the Lord and, um, just how amazing he's been in my life to let me experience what I've experienced and to bring me back from the brink of nothing to where I am again. And yeah. And that song went through my head. Um, when I think about the Lord, how he saved me, how he raised me, how he filled me with the Holy Ghost, how he healed me to the uttermost. When I think about the Lord, how he picked me up, and turn me around how we place my feet on solid ground it makes me want to shout hallelujah thank you jesus lord you're worthy of all the honor and all the glory and all the praise. Have you guys heard that song before? We used to sing it in my church. I had a friend named Brandy Miranda. And uh, she always sang that. She always led that song. And she could sing so beautiful. And, um, yeah, every time I hear that song, I think of her. But, yeah, I was just I was singing that song out in the parking lot. And I was like, people are probably going to go, what is wrong with you? <laughs> But you know what? I don't care. I don't care because Jesus is good. He is so good. And I want to sing his praises to him when it comes to my heart to sing. And so I did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. I love him. I love him so much. Thank you so much, Father God. Thank you so much for your mercy and your goodness and your kindness. And just for being you and for letting us live giving us life, providing for us, bringing healing and salvation. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord, and we give you praise. 
We give you honor and glory. Amen. Hallelujah. So this is coming together little by little. Our girls are in the background here. I thought I'd just do a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit of um, collaging on top around them and stuff. I'm looking here real quick. I've got my Tim Holtz bag over here, the little stuff I still haven't used up from him. And uh, I wonder if I fussy cut this. What did I do with my other scissors? Oh, here's these. These are good. I'll use these. <laughs> Oh, uh, y'all are so sweet for putting up with me. I just kind of go off in tangents. <laughs> I'm not going to apologize, though, because you know what? I warn y'all. <laughs> you all know me by now. When I get when I get a praise in my in my song a song in my heart, I can't I can't help it. I don't want to help it. I don't. I don't want to never. I don't want to ever stop singing praises to my King, and and I don't want to ever. Be, stop being proud of who he is to me and, and who he's made me to be, you know? I hope when you guys feel that urge to worship or praise, you just stop and do it because he's worthy of it. But I appreciate that you guys tolerate me kind of going all over the place. Because <laughs> one minute I'm talking about this and the next minute I'm singing you a song. And I love you girls. You're so precious and sweet to me. I mean it. You, you guys bless my heart every single day when I read your comments. You make me giggle. I had to laugh. One of y'all said to me, um, Sharon, I believe it was Sharon, said, did you hear us yelling at you? This is for today's video that's playing today on Saturday. Uh, did you hear us yelling? That's a pocket. It's supposed to be a pocket because I glued it down as a peach. I said, no, I was too busy talking. I didn't hear you. <laughs> But that made me smile. I laughed so hard as I got up this morning and was reading those as I was going about my time, you know, getting stuff ready for the morning and everything. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so sweet. I love it. I love you guys. You're awesome. You just are. I have the best, uh, I have the best friends on my channel and I'm very, very grateful to the Lord for you guys. I know I'm mushy. I say it every time, but I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I can't help it because I can't express my love and, and, you know, how I feel about you is good when I'm leaving you messages. I try to. Emojis only go so far, though. I mean, I try to express how much I care about you, but I want you all to know from, from my own mouth that I love you. So there we go. There we go. It's um, It needs some gold. That's all I'm going to say. I need some gold. And you know what else? I think, what time is it? Probably. Yeah, I've gone over, but I want to try something really quick. I really like the way this, um, another ribbon that Pam gave me. Uh, let's see. The other day, I went ahead and I tied this little bow in the corner of it, okay? And I'm not doing it fancy. I'm, I just want to get it to where it's about the right size. So when I cut it, you know, okay. And I think it'll look really pretty with that ribbon. <clears throat> and it's just going to bring something to the page. You know what I mean? So let's see if I can do it again. I did it on another piece and it came out so cute. And I thought, oh, I love that. So I'm going to try and see if it'll work here because it'll. It, I just know it'll look good on this piece. It'll add something to it. So now, of course, you know, this is a mom and her daughter. <laughs> Okay, so what I did was I tied a little bow, okay, and it was very hard for me to get it just right. I'm, I can do those big, huge bows that you put on your trees, but I'm not like superwoman at it at all. So <laughs> I can do it, you know, leaving the wire in and you fold it and all that, but I, I will admit I have to finagle it. It's a fiddly thing for me to do those. So my bows are not perfect. I watch Tina sometimes. She ties the prettiest little bows. And I'm like, good job, girl. I wish I could do that. But I'm just, I don't know. This one's okay. It'll glue down good. You watch. It'll glue down good. I just want to tighten it a little bit and then pull on it. Pull on it. So I make sure it stays. And then when I glue it, that's when I'll control where it goes. And I'm going to, mm, there we go. There we go. All right. Now, will these scissors trim this for me okay? 
Probably not. I'm going to get my good ones. Might as well. There we go. These don't mess around. I think I cut that the right. There we go. Now, I'm going to get my glue gun. And I was thinking I would put this like right here on this corner. Let me see. What do y'all think? Or maybe right here? It'll, it'll probably close off. Well, maybe I should. Sorry, I gotta decide where I want it real quick here. Sorry, babies. Let me let me figure this out. I don't want because this is gonna be glued in. It's not gonna matter. I don't want it covering the wrong place, you know. Actually, I kind of like it right there. Now that covers the plum pudding. How about there? We're gonna put it there. Otherwise, I will be here all day, moving it around and around and around. And I'm going to put my fingers through here, and this looks weird. But I don't want to burn myself, but I want to get this right the first time. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue underneath so this stays down for me on this part. Okay there all right so there's our, our piece um you know we need some glue or some gold we need some gold here we got to dress this baby up because that's what mama do and then what I'll do is I'll go through my stuff and I'll find I'll probably use some of those Tim Holt pot holds pocket thingies the little cards um there's my thing here I've already gone over my in for a penny and for a pound, right? Okay. <laughs> Just scuffed across your page. Just scuff it across. If you like that look, that's all I'm doing is just skidding it across. Okay. And I find the dry wipe works the best for that. Um, what I was going to say is I've got these little cards from Tim. And I'm probably going to make these my little, like that, as you can see. And then we got the bigger ones. And I'm just putting some in so you all can see what they look like, okay? And we got that pocket. So this has now got four pockets. And here we go. And these fit, and this pocket's real deep, as you can see. Okay, so there we go, guys. There's our piece. I hope you like it. Let's pull back a little so you can see good. There's the girls. Aren't they pretty? Look at their faces. Oh, my goodness. They're celebrating Christmas. Well, praise God. I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow. It'll be Wednesday. Probably be another craft with me day. Um... Have a blessed night. Have a fun day crafting and be blessed, okay? I love you guys. Bye.